Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So I'm pretty excited to announce the newest guest to Adventure Quest 3D is Moist Critical and his friends. And I'm gonna take you through it all. So let's get into it. Now to start this new crazy adventure, you want to head into Batlon and talk to Charlie. He should be right in front of you as soon as you spawn in. He has his own cutscenes and if you're a fan of his you might recognize some of these references. So I suggest you watch them all. After that, you will travel to the Moistverse, and this is a fever dream on steroids, and I love it. Once you're free to move around, you will notice there's a couple of new NPCs in this zone. These are all his friends that help him with his YouTube and music, because he's also in a band with some of these guys. Now, the quests are pretty simple, they just want you to go through and kill all the monsters, making your way all the way through this giant parkour map. While you do so, they are collectible scattered around the map. They are seven in total, and I will have a separate video on that, which unlocks a type. And once you make your way to Chelsea, she will have a treasure trove for you to complete. This is basically the items from the event that you can turn in to unlock permanent versions of that item. These items drop from the minions and bosses in the area. They kind of did the same thing with uh, Deadpool. While you're making your trip to these bosses, you will also encounter these walls which you can actually run on, which is really cool. And I gotta say, they did a really good job and I can't wait to see what else they pull out of the hat in later updates. So once you make your way to the first boss, not counting the t-shirt boss, sorry, you will unlock a portal to that area. The first boss is blue, so you unlock the blue portal, which you can step through down below. Every boss has a platform and a portal you can unlock once you parkour to it. Except for the last area, you're gonna have to parkour to that all the time if you wanna get there. The first boss is Sergeant Swole Guns, and he is honestly the cutest thing I've ever seen. Killing him will give you a chance to loot his items. I believe he drops a gun, two hats, and a temporary travel form. The next boss is Private Pepper. There is a quest here that requires you to eat 10 hot peppers. Eating a hot pepper will transform your character quite oddly and it can damage you or turn you into a giant fire element because it's kind of hot. This boss will also have a chance to drop his temporary travel form. And the last open world boss is Major Moby. This guy has a chance to drop his helmet and temporary travel form. I hate mushrooms, that's all I have to say here. And our last boss is Goblin Fuel General. When you first talk to him, he will take you into a solo instance where you will have to defeat him. And I gotta say, this is probably the most fun I've had in a, any boss fight in this game for quite a long time. I just love flying around on this giant rocket, killing this giant goblin. Also, don't try to spend 40 minutes solo in the challenge mode because you didn't realize other players could come and help you. You don't do that. You wouldn't want to do that. Don't, don't be that. After that, you're done. You want to make your way back to the beginning and talk to Matt. There, you unlock the new emote and go to the giant Charlie and use the emote to come inside his mouth. Uh, I'm not saying that. Then go in his mouth, I guess. Talk to him and then after that, you will have basically completed the story portion of this event. There's much to do and I will have multiple videos out later, including the parkour map that has a leaderboard and the cool new hidden tiles. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be making multiple videos on this event because I don't want to make a two hour long video. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.